Hey guys, today I want to address the kind of unfortunate, unfortunate situation that a lot of people are going to have where they're really considering to drop. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. So today, I wanna to talk about dropping, dropping school. And it's easy to kind of romanticize the, the big names everybody knows that just dropped out of school because they were just so busy, right? I mean, we all hear about you know Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, people that just had so much going on, they just had to stop going to school to, uh, to pursue their their careers right and uh, that's not going to be most people's case obviously um but there's other situations that i think people really should like address and really focus on um before they continue because it's happened to me many many times there's been several occasions that uh, uh usually when it's going into either midterms or towards the end of the semester where i really feel like do i really want to keep going it's a real struggle People don't understand how difficult this uh, school is uh, is getting. And here are a few tips that it's, uh, I, I think are kind of important um, to really, really focus on. First is, are you just not prepared for this degree? Now, it's so much easier to get into the OMS CS program than it would be to actually uh, um, get inside the, the university's program, the, uh, um, the actual physical location, right? Their, um, the online um, degree doesn't require the GRE. Their, just to put it like uh, uh, um, simply, there's people that don't even know how to code. It, it sounds bizarre, but <laughs> every semester I meet people that's like have never uh, programmed in the uh, in in the language that that course that I'm taking is in, or they just don't have a programming background. I'm like, how are you expecting to get through this? And those are the people that I usually see dropping that I'm like, either drop and spend some, you know, a couple of years learning really how to program and then come back or just stop it all together, right? Because it's like, even though it is very cheap and compared to, uh, if you compare it to an online, you know, uh, I mean, online, compared to an on-campus um, education, I mean, it's still not free, right? You're, you're going to be much better off just taking free um, courses online. You can take courses on uh, Udemy. There's a lot, a lot of uh, tutorials you can take on, on YouTube that are free. Get your feet wet and then go in. I mean, people don't understand how difficult this program is. Like, I had a successful marketing and programming business. I spent three years preparing for this education and then the first two years were absolute misery. It, it's really difficult. And the only courses that you might see if you go to OMS uh, um, Central, um, which we'll talk about some other day, um, even if you see a class that's like, okay, well, this one's not that bad because other people have reviewed it and it's, it's not that difficult. They're watching those reviews also. They, I mean, the, the professors, and they are cranking it up. Almost every course that I've seen people saying, oh, this class was really easy. Check it out two semesters later on. Everyone's like, wow, this is a difficult course now. So none of these classes are easy. There's, there's some classes that aren't as brutal. <laughs> so you have to look at it from that perspective. You're not going into any of these classes and it's gonna be a cakewalk. I have yet to see a single class that's been so easy that you can do 13 other things and just glide through it without doing a lot of work and having a lot of preparation before. Every class I've done very well I already had a couple of, of, uh, of years already of understanding that language and, or just working on that kind of, uh, kind of process um, that's instructed in the, in the class. So this is what I keep mentioning to people. You're going to Georgia Tech to prove you're a master, right? You're going there to show you already know what you're doing. It, this is not like an undergrad uh, degree, right? Where you can go without knowing anything and they'll take you up the levels. Here, you're, you're hitting the ground running. You're going with it, trying to prove that you know what you're saying, you know, what the degree is saying that you already know. Getting a, a, an online master's degree in, in a in an, um, university like Georgia Tech, 
I mean, do people go to Harvard or you know, go to MIT thinking it's gonna be really easy and it'll be simple, even if they would be doing the online education format? People think it might be easy or they might even think you can cheat. Neither one of those are gonna work, right? So I, I think if you're in over your head and you realize I don't have the skills to, to pass these classes, I would highly recommend dropping, not for a semester, I, I would recommend completely dropping and get the preparation you need. Put in the three to four years that you need to, to make it through. Because I mean, you just have to ask yourself, what are you doing this for? Is this just to show off that you went to you know, a, a great university? Is it just because you need the piece of paper to get a better job, right? You, uh, um, make better pay? I understand those reasons, but for me personally, I just went to understand what I was doing at a really, really high level. I wanted to be the best programmer I could be. That was really my goal, right? Because everything I'd done before, I had read several books on programming. I, you know, put together uh, um, several automated scripts with a lot of code that I found online, but I didn't really understand what I was doing and that always bothered me. So me going back, um, getting all the courses like ready, right? Because it's like you know, having an art degree. I mean, that made a huge, <laughs> I made a huge difference, right? So it's like I went, I took all the math, I took all the programming classes that I need to really prepare myself for this, uh, for this master's degree. So if you don't have that kind of preparation, I say put everything on holds. Even though you got accepted, I would say, you know, just drop, learn what you need to, because you're going to waste time and a lot of money, right? That's that's another video that uh, that I'm going to be addressing on how much the real cost can be, based on your preparation. So when is the time to drop when you really feel like it's, it's just not adding up? If you're having two or three semesters, it's, it's, you're really struggling and you have other things to do, right? And other things to do, that would be uh, point, number, uh, um, point number two. If you're going through family issues, if you're having some serious problems, um, getting enough time for the class, I've seen a lot of other students that don't have enough time to even put the, uh, um, the material together, that also might be a good point to drop. Is it worth it to push through and kind of go with what you're doing? Yeah, I, I think it's absolutely worth it. It depends on what your personal goals are. For me, I wanted to set up a, a um, I wanna be able to implement everything that I was thinking about in a way that I didn't have to use other people's code, right? Like just, okay, let me search online, see who's done something similar and let me, let me kind of, squash these two um, these two classes together, right? I wanna be able to know what I'm trying to do, draw it out, and then implement it in a very code efficient way that I could maintain on my own, or even if it would be with a group of people. Like that, that was kind of my goal. I wanted to understand how to program like a very good engineer, right? Not look at it like, well, oh, I'm just coding line by line. I'm using other libraries. I don't really know what's going you know, on underneath the hood. So for me personally, all these years that I put in before even getting into, into Georgia Tech and now all these years that I'm putting in trying to get this degree um, have been absolutely worth it. So I could stop now, like I'm not trying to you know, get a job at, at a, a major company or, or, or anything. So the degree is just for my own personal satisfaction and the time spent, I'm spending the time anyway, which um, again, since I'm taking classes, the uh, um, that are completely connected to the kind of projects that, I'm, that, that I wanted to be working on anyway, it's, it's totally useful. It's like, I haven't found it to be a waste of time at all. There's other courses that I took that I kind of felt like, well, I didn't really know what it was about. I thought I was gonna enjoy them more than I did. Like uh, Intro to Health Informatics, I thought that was gonna be way more interesting than, uh, uh, than it turned out to be. Or the uh, AI for Robotics. That one I thought I was gonna be crazy about. I was gonna learn how to, how to uh, develop robots that can search and, and, and uh, it's a great idea, but then when I got into it, I realized it's, I don't, I don't think this is really for me. Or uh, maybe later on, I changed my mind. But as, as of now, it's like those two courses in particular, I didn't really feel like I got as much out of it because I wasn't that excited to build the projects that, that we were building. Whereas other projects, it's like, it literally has been like the springing board for me to work on other, other, um, other apps, uh, other, uh, other projects that I really, really am interested in. So it's, it's, kind of, it's been, it's, it's been a, an interesting journey for me, but I couldn't recommend it more, honestly. That's why it's like, I, I just wanna make these videos kind of explaining the pros and cons that I've seen 
and help people that really want to get the most out of this uh, out of this online education to jump in better prepared because I really didn't have any help. It's like I had a hit, you know, I had a uh, hit against so many walls, um, even getting this far, right? I'm, I'm only halfway. Um, but for me, it's been the journey, right? It's it's getting the piece of paper. It's, it's not as valuable as all these skills that I'm getting while I'm going for that journey. So I recommend if you're really struggling and you're not prepared for it, I would say that's a great time to drop or if you really just don't have the time. If that's not the case and you're just feeling like it's just so difficult, I would say just take a semester off. That's when you withdraw, take a semester off. Um, I would say get more experience in that particular course that you're having an issue with and keep taking that course until you pass it, right? Because every semester they can change the, the class a little bit, but if you, if you decide, oh, I'll take this course maybe next year, it might be so different. You're, you're gonna feel like you're starting again from scratch. So that, that's another thing. I'd say you're having a really hard time in one semester, drop that class that semester, take a break the next semester if you need, if you need to take it easy for a little bit, um, and then come back for us the following semester. So depending on where you're at, I'd say those are the only two reasons I highly recommend. If you really just don't have time or you're just not prepared, it's just, you're just overhead. And there's no, it's, it's, there's no fault of your own, right? I mean, it looks simple. You know, a lot of people are talking about this course. It's extremely cheap compared to the, uh, to the, um, the cost of actually going to the physical campus, right? Um, but other than that, I actually recommend everyone to just stick through it. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that that's what these videos do. For people that are thinking, it's like, I'm not getting any help. I'm not connecting with anyone. It's what's the point? It's it, watch these, you know, some of the other videos that I have, because it's like, I, I've seen so much value in this education. If, you know, if you just have a little bit of help um, along the way. So that's my recommendation. Hope it helps.